Marjorie Taylor Greene suggests using Second Amendment rights against Democrats. MTG still wants a national divorce. Democrats respond, uh, come out for the Civil War and declare yourself a traitor. So this is getting ugly and her rhetoric is getting increasingly stupid. Um, so let's let's dive in a little bit here. Let me let me zoom in. So Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia on Tuesday suggested using Second Amendment rights to fight Democrats while defending her proposal for a national divorce akin to the southern state secession of the 1860s. So at this point, she's basically saying, not only do I expect a civil war, I want a civil war. I want us to take up arms against Democrats. This is a sitting member of Congress. Ultimately, the truth is it's our Second Amendment rights, our right to bear arms that protects Americans and gives us the ability to defend ourselves from a tyrannical government, Green said in a podcast interview with former Trump aide Sebastian Gorka. While discussing Georgia gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams' calls for stricter gun regulations, and I hate to use this language, but Democrats, they're exactly, they're doing exactly what our founders talked about when they gave us the precious rights that we have. Green, who has repeatedly proposed a national divorce between red and blue states, quickly defended her comments. No one wants violence. Oh, no one wants violence as you recommend taking up arms uh, using the Second Amendment against Democrats, but she doesn't want violence. Wink, wink, wink. No one wants violence, and I say all the time, I am not a violent person, she, she told Gorka. Uh, I hope to never see a civil war in this country as she antagonizes for one. Uh, and that's why you hear me toss around national divorce. The federal government has grown so big and the Democrats are willing to use their power of the federal government that it really violates people's rights. Green is only the latest far right Republican to fantasize about violence against her political opponents. So how is it that these supposedly patriotic Republicans like Marjorie Green, they're coming out and they're saying, I no longer support the United States. I want a national divorce. I want, you know, different states to become their own countries. I mean, if a leftist said this, they would be called a traitor. So how is she not a traitor? Why is she still um, supposedly patriotic? Uh, Matt Gates, during a rally with Green last year, urged supporters to use their gun rights to fight government tyranny while stoking debunked election conspiracy theorists. This is so incredibly dangerous. We have a second amendment in this country, and I think we have an obligation to use it. So remember that guy at the Charlie Kirk event where he's like, hey, when are we going to start killing these Democrats? You have sitting members of Congress echoing that same sentiment. Less responsible than a right wing pundit like Charlie Kirk, who denounced that. It's just truly insane. Gates said, adding that the Second Amendment is not about hunting. The Second Amendment protects the ability to maintain an armed rebellion against the government if that becomes necessary. These people are fucking insane off their rockers. They want violence. And they are saying explicitly now that that's what they want. They want violence. Madison Cawthorn last summer predicted there would be bloodshed in future elections while stoking debunked conspiracy theories that the 2020 race had been rigged and stolen. Representative Mo Brooks, uh, who has been linked to the planning of the Trump rally that preceded the January 6th Capitol riot, said one day after the attack that the only options in response to lost faith in the ballot box is to either submit or you could resist, often through violence. So they're saying the quiet part out loud. It's insane. These incessant suggestions of violence have had an alarming effect on the Republican Party's base. A recent poll found that 30% of Republicans believe that American patriots may have to resort to violence in order to save our country. Representative Dean Phillips, a Democrat, demanded that House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy take action against Green after her latest comments. Let's just pause for a moment. Imagine if uh, it weren't Marjorie Green and Ilhan Omar had said something like this. Can you imagine the backlash that she would face? Republicans can say violence is good. We should do violence and they get away with it. How crazy is that? If suggesting the Second Amendment rights should be used against Democrats doesn't immediately compel McCarthy to take disciplinary action, I suggest Congress take action against both of them. So, you know, I, I don't know what to say about this. If this doesn't show you how far to the right 
that the GOP has shifted, then nothing else will. And yet, we're still talking about the far left on mainstream media. The far left. We're talking about the threat that the far left poses to America when you have members of the GOP who are elected to Congress openly promoting the idea of violence and a civil war. It's truly madness. Truly madness. They're straight up in authoritarian territory. This is uh, the evolution, or I should say the devolution, from proto-fascism to outright violent fascism. And we knew that this was an inevitability. It's just that the hope was that maybe we can stop Republicans before they got this diluted, before they became this explicitly violent. So, um, yeah, it's, it's really uh, worrying to see this. It's not surprising, but... Um, yeah, Marjorie Green saying using Second Amendment rights to fight Democrats is a good thing. Literally advocating for a civil war. Insane. Just insane. Mike is a total shit lip. Once he started chilling for the DNC, I stopped watching. <laughs> So I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.